I'm Liz Fleming. I'm a part-time lead at the Allentown store in Pennsylvania. I've been with Blick for about a year and a half now. The style of artwork that I really like to do is really based in comics. I do get a lot of inspiration from anime and manga, but I sort of found my place within comics and doing more illustration for comics work. That's sort of what makes me feel happy and what sort of has worked out for me. I do have a webcomic called Toil and Trouble, and in that it's sort of like a slice of life kind of romantic comedy um, about witches, so it's a little bit far removed from the regular romantic comedy, if you will. And um, I really like to just sort of show uh, people's personalities and how different personalities can come together and really complement each other and how people can improve themselves via each other. When creating characters for comics, especially in your own personal work, a lot of times it's not something that you do actively, but a little part of yourself always sneaks into your characters just because you need to have that basis for in reality to be able to write a character convincingly. So um, I know that uh, Hyacinth's got a little bit of my extrovertedness and my brashness, and Odette has a lot of my more neurotic sort of tendencies. So you just sort of pick and choose and Every character kind of becomes you in a way. So I am a pen and ink person at heart. I love black and white and sort of working with values just via that white paper and the black pen. I prefer though brush inking. So if I can have anything that has a brush tip, the Tombos do have a really wonderful brush tip. So I have used that before just to sort of get that variation of line without having to switch between multiple pens. When you're trying to figure out ideas for the comics and you know doing thumbnails and stuff, it's always good to have sort of a small notebook to take around with you. I really like the Moleskines for that. Uh, they just have really hearty covers. They stay together well, and so I can just slip it in my purse. And if I have a sudden idea for something, I can just pull it out and real quick work on it. And uh, you know, then when I get home, I can take it to maybe another notebook and sort of really fully realize it. When I do conventions, I mostly sell prints, but actually my biggest seller is when I do commissions. And it's my most favorite part of the art part of cons because it's fun to sort of see what interesting characters people are gonna give me, what cool prompts, and then it keeps me drawing the whole weekend. I have, since working at Blick, met a lot of comic artists who I hadn't expected to meet and really made some connections with artists who I wouldn't usually know other than working at Blick. So it's really given me some new connections that I wouldn't have thought of before. I think in the future, what I really would like to see for myself is you know, just becoming a better artist and then from be there being able to branch out from comics. So comics are definitely my home base. It's what I love and I would love to one day have uh, a creator-owned comic that is mine.